do some checks. Just checking if there's any water in the boat. I have a leak. It's a small leak. Sometimes it leaks, sometimes it doesn't. As long as the boat's not sitting in the water forever, then it's okay. When I'm up at the lake, then it sits all night and I have to check it in the morning, make sure it's okay. Wish it was a little bit more bumpy out here. The ride would be a lot better, but nice calm day. I'm gonna throw the line out in a second. I just put in a full size battery for my fish finder. It's under the steering wheel here, or under the dash console. And um, I had a smaller one before, but it wasn't too good. And I got a little bit of a drain. And you don't wanna hook the battery to the, um, to the main battery, to the starting battery, the trolling motor battery, because you get interference. So this way I have no interference. I'll show you the screen here. So we're just on down imaging mode right now. So this is essentially two dimensional, but it's a little more clear. So if we drove over like a tree branch, you'd see all the branches. This is my side view. So this side is to the left of the boat. You could see the boat there. So it's showing all of this because it's shallower on my left and it's deeper on the right side. So that's why you don't have much of an image there. It fades off. That's my two-dimensional down imaging combo. And two-dimensional side imaging. Down and side imaging. And there's my route that I've driven so far. It doesn't have all my other ones before. It's been erased. But it's better that it's not like that because then it's a spaghetti everywhere. Two-dimensional and map. Two-dimensional and down imaging. Side imaging with map. And back to original. And I can set this to whichever display I want. And if I want even three on the same screen. So basically the two-dimensional. Say the boat's up here. And say the boat's going this way. So as I pass over stuff. What's here is behind me. So it's reading the new stuff right here. And then... The red means hard bottom. So this will tell you the difference between mud and hard bottom, rock bottom, whatever. And you want that because you can see where the fish, they hang out in the transitional areas where it goes from mud to rocks and stuff like that, right? You're trying to use this fish finder for all types of um, different scenarios about finding out where the fish are. You're not necessarily looking for the fish. You're looking for the type of structure that they like to hang around in. The saying is 90% of the fish are in 10% of the water. And we're on the Great Lake, so the water's pretty clear, guys. I don't think we could see the bottom. Yeah, we kind of can. Maybe not on camera. But, yeah. Actually, yeah, I definitely can see the bottom. It's just light color. That's why you can't really see it on the camera. Let's go over to this side where the sun is. Probably be worse on this side with the glare. Yeah, you can't really see it because there's nothing dark on the bottom here. It's just like sand bottom. So I thought I had a problem with my gas gauge and it was working. I guess I had no gas because I just filled up, not all the way, but I put about maybe half, yeah, I got half a tank in there. I did look at the tachometer. I don't think the tachometer is working anymore. So I have to get that sorted out. So I want to get that done. Uh, I just have a minor thing with my horn. It might be a wire connector. I've had this thing working on and off, so I just have to check the wire connector. And um, funny, I was under the dash. I was looking at it last night, but I didn't pay attention to it because it was getting too late. But other than that, it's just the hole in the boat, and that's my only problem. I fixed a bunch of things. Last year, I fixed the, uh, the whole uh, control panel, and that cost me 684 Canadian plus tax, so that's about 500 US, and then our tax is a lot more than you guys. We're paying 13% here on quite a lot of things not everything but yeah 13 percent what else did i do last year i can't really remember i didn't do too much but i just replaced this ignition switch that's pretty much it so it's good to go for the season looks like i gotta plan a fishing trip i haven't had too much luck going downtown here and we used to get some like 40 plus inches down there i've never gotten anything really big but uh we got a few fish uh, about 35 inch range and a little over uh, 40 as well we got before but there is musky in the downtown harbor area they've been stocking musky here so you should be able to catch some musky at some point i guess what i'm trolling here for today is pike and brown trout and they tend to hang out in the shallow waters i don't know if the rainbow trout will be around but i'll show you what i'm using 
This is either a 25 or a 30 pound braid. And then my fluorocarbon, because I don't like to use those steel leaders, I got 30 pound fluorocarbon here. And it does, does it look a little frayed here? No, it's not frayed, just some junk on it. Okay, got our speed, 1.1 miles an hour. Bombs away, seven foot ugly stick. When it's colder, the fish stay higher in the water column. about two hours away and hopefully there'll be some big boys there it's been warm so they'll be ready the season's opening this weekend actually 